Eu tô aqui no The National History Museum, em Londres, onde acontece a London Fashion Week. Aqui, na verdade, é a base do evento. Acontece alguns desfiles, mas a grande maioria acontece fora, pelas redondezas ou qualquer canto da cidade. Aqui tem ainda o showroom de vários estilistas, várias novas marcas e ainda os novos estilistas, a New Generation, que Londres é reconhecida por ser um berço de jovens criadores. Daqui saíram grandes nomes, como Vivienne Westwood e tantos outros. Então hoje a gente conversa com algum desses estilistas. Vamos lá conhecer então quem são esses novos personagens da cena da moda mundial. E trouxemos também no programa de hoje o desfile de Basso and Broke e a coleção de Jamie Packer no London Fashion Week. Uh, when did you begin uh, work with fashion? Uh, when I was young, I was always interested in making things. I've always been quite creative. Uh, I went to Glasgow Art School, graduated in 2001, and then I started up an accessories company. So these are, these are my accessories. Yeah, sure. This is knitted wire and silk. It's quite sculptural, so it's quite it's great to work with. Here's I had an accessories company, but I really wanted to make a uh, knitwear, like garments. So I went back to college. I went to the Royal College of Art, especially to do fashion. So it's very exciting. But these are the shoes that I've created. Uh, I did them for a catwalk show I had in New York last week with NY Profile. Uh, and it went really well. I did these to complement my collection, so I did eight pairs of shoes to go with the garments. Uh, they're very sculptural, knitted with wire and silk. Yes, uh, yeah. Oh, it's amazing to be here. Like I'm uh, part of the Glasgow Collective. Uh, I heard about the initiative last year, and I applied, and I got accepted. So I'm really happy about that. Um, it's just great to be here and meet with buyers and press. I've had a lot of stylists interested. So a lot of my accessories have gone for a shoot with ID magazine uh, yesterday. So yeah, just a really good exhibition to do. Hannah, this is uh, your first collection? Um, this is my fourth collection and it's my second time um, with New Generation sponsorship. Uh, with the British Fashion Council. We're like very, very lucky to be here because there's not many uh, people within this, um, within the new generation um, scheme. There's probably like 10 or 12 designers internationally, so it's good to be a British designer here as well. Yeah, very lucky. How you begin? How you begin uh, work with fashion? Um, I studied, I did my degree and I graduated in 2003. And um, then I did um, different industry placements and I worked in PR, model agencies, uh, designer studios, and then um, I set up my business about um, 18 months ago, 20 months ago. How you work with the shapes, with the colors? For me, it's more about um, silhouette. Um, so, and I work a lot with black. That's uh, predominantly the color that I use. Um, so, yeah, for me, it's just about creating really strong shapes, really strong silhouettes, um, mixing the fabrics up as well, like combining leather with silks, like heavy and light fabrics. Uh, yeah, just making a nice contrast and something that's aesthetically beautiful. Yeah. After here, what's your plans? What's your plans for the future? Yeah, um, well, after here, um, straight away, my collection is going to be going to Paris for Fashion Week for sales. Yeah, and then my plan is to um, hopefully do my first catwalk show in February. So I'm going to launch with an autumn winter collection. Yeah, which is definitely my favorite. Yeah. In Brazil, when will you go there? Yeah, I've never been to Brazil, so but who knows? Yeah, maybe next year. Yeah, I know I'd love to. Yeah. What is the architect doing? I think that. 
conversando com os estilistas, a gente percebe que a maioria deles está usando a história do contraste, as cores, os tecidos. Então, assim, aqui na Hanna a gente tem o preto e o branco, que é muito forte, ela mesmo falou, é, é muito característico dela, até a imagem dela, tudo, mas também os tecidos. Aqui o trabalho em couro, que ele tem pequenas dobraduras, ele é extremamente é, arquitetado, isso é outra característica que a gente está vendo em quase todos, que é uma limpeza das peças e a arquitetura mesmo de modelagem, de construção. Então a gente tem o couro, aí tem os tecidos mais leves, mais fluidos, aqui tem um bore, e aí a gente chega até tecidos assim, ó, que vem com um acessório em couro, mas o tecido é muito fluido. E quando você olha mesmo, por mais que o designer ele, ele uh, uh, aparente ser muito moderno, as peças são clássicas. Então tem uma construção moderna e clássica ao mesmo tempo. Os ombros estão super fortes, como também é uma tendência que está vindo. Então assim, é o clássico com o moderno. Eu acho que isso é realmente o que vai chegar no Brasil, o que a gente já vê nas nossas passarelas e a gente está vendo em todo lugar do mundo. Oh,